Tuesday wasn't Ryan Pohl's first visit to Hollis Hall. It won't be his last, either. The Bears interviewed the Chiefs' 36-year-old executive director of player personnel in person on Tuesday after talking to him virtually Friday. By midday, the Bears were finalizing a deal to make him their next general manager, sources confirmed. Poles was in high demand for general manager jobs, a finalist for the Panthers' job last year, he conducted two interviews with the Giants before they chose Joe Shane as their GM last week. He's reached the final round of the Vikings' GM search, too, he was scheduled to fly to Minneapolis for an in-person interview Wednesday. Instead, the Bears got their man, less than 24 hours after Chairman George McCaskey picked polls up at O'Hare International Airport. McCaskey was captured on social media walking through baggage claim Monday night while wearing a Bears letterman's jacket. Polls has come a long way from his last extended trip to Hollis Hall. A Boston College guard who tore his Achilles tendon during his senior season, Poles was signed by the Bears as an undrafted free agent in May 2008, the Bears cut him at the end of training camp. About a month or so later, he was back at BC, working as a graduate assistant. Less than a year later, he joined the Chiefs organization, working his way up from a scouting assistant to college scouting coordinator, a job he held for six years. He was the team's college scouting director for two years after that before, in May 2018, taking over as the team's assistant player personnel director. In June, his title changed to executive director of player personnel. While he was involved in the Chiefs college operation, the franchise drafted quarterback Patrick Mahomes and tight end Travis Kelsey who are each considered the league's best player at their position. Other stars the Chiefs drafted during that span include defensive lineman Chris Jones, receiver Tyreek Hill, cornerback Marcus Peters and defensive tackle Don Taripo. Hill should not be held up as a scouting coup, though, many teams were uncomfortable drafting him after was thrown off Oklahoma State's team and pled guilty to abusing and choking his pregnant girlfriend. Poles' first order of business is to hire a head coach. Jim Caldwell, the former Colts and Lions head coach, is at Hollis Hall on Tuesday, ESPN reported. Caldwell first interviewed with the Bears' five-person committee January 15. He has ties to consultant Bill Polian through Tony Dungy, for whom Caldwell coached in Indianapolis. Poles has ties to another coaching candidate, Dan Quinn, the former Falcons coach and current Cowboys defensive coordinator. Quinn coached Poles' college teammate, quarterback Matt Ryan, from 2015-20.